I'm now going to give you a chance to try this out. So I got some data sets here, and I want you to calculate the mean, median, and mode for each one, if possible. Um, and uh, I want you to notice, like, this is a sample of college students, a sample of voters, but this is a population of times. And so uh, be aware of the notation that you're using, especially for the mean. Okay, because there's notation for sample mean, population mean. And then you also need to use the rounding rule. And then um, when you're done, in each case, if it's applicable, then de determine whether the data set is left skewed or right skewed or symmetrical. Okay, so go ahead, press pause, give this a try, and then you can start it back up again and see how you do. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this, let's look at the answers to this. I actually have them written out on this one here. And so the first one, okay, uh, you're adding up the age of the college students, dividing by 7, and when you use the rounding rule, you get 20.1, okay? And so that's the average age. And now for the median, I have to put the data in order. Um, and then the median is the middle value. In this case, it's 20. There's seven values in the data set, and 20 is in the center. So that's the median. The mode, there's actually two modes. 19 and 21 are both modes. So what about the shape of the data? Well, the mean is actually bigger than the median. Okay, Not much, very, very slightly but it is a little bit, so it's very slightly right skewed, okay? Now the second data set is qualitative nominal data, and so the only measure of center that makes sense is the mode, and in that case you get D for Democrat, okay? Um, and then the, fo the, the last one, you have a population of sample times, and notice this is a population, so now instead of X bar I'm using mu, because it's a population and it's this is a population mean and then I add all the times up I get 15.19 divided by 6 and then I'm going to round to three decimal places and it ends up being 2.253 okay now the median I gotta put all the data in order and when I do that I get a median of 2.82 and then in this case, there is no mode because they all occur just once. And then finally, um, you can see that the mean is less than the median in this case. Um, and that means that this data set is left skewed. So, okay, so that is mean, median, mode, some of the other things that go along with it. And we're going to be next, we're going to be looking at the standard deviation.